Auto layout allows you to control the spacing between the elements in your frame so that you can create responsive components. So let's take a look at what that means. If I were to add another line to my header over here, let's say this is a header, my, resp my component responded accordingly. My, the spacing between my header and paragraph and button were both maintained and the spacing between both my rows were maintained. So if I were to change the text on my paragraph, my, po my component is responding as expected. So let's take a look at how this is built. I'm gonna start first by creating a frame and I'm gonna do that by hitting F on the keyboard. I'm gonna to go to the right hand panel over here and select the frame I wanna use. I'm gonna to go to desktop and you can select any frame you want just make sure that you have the device on hand for the frame that you're using. So if you select the iPhone 8, you should probably have an iPhone 8 so that you can test the designs on the device as you work on them. I'm going to add a text element to my frame. So I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard and drag. Let's say this is a header. I'm gonna style my header, maybe increase the size to 32, give it a fixed width of 320 great and I'm I want and I want another text element so I'm going to duplicate this header I'm going to do that by holding option down and dragging you can also hit command D to duplicate and just move this to the desired space and then I'm going to go and grab some dummy text and I just use blindtexteditor.com which I will post in the description just make sure if you're using this website that, and you're not using Lorem Epsom, that you're actually reading the dummy text because some of these can actually be uh, a little bit too dark for a real uh, mock-up. Like if you read this one. One morning, when Greg and Samsa woke up from his troubled dreams, he found himself transformed into a horrible vermin. So you probably don't want to add that or you're going to have some very confused clients. I'm going to go with something a little more fun. A wonderful serenity has taken possession of my entire soul. That sounds a little bit more appropriate. I'm going to copy this text, dump it in my text box over here. And I'm going to give this text box more of a paragraph style. So I'm going to bring this size down to maybe 16. Now that's a little too small, I'm gonna go with 18. Maybe we change the opacity a bit over here. Bring it down to 64, hell yeah. That looks good. We got 80 over here, perfect. So notice now that if I were to change my header and add another line over here, nothing happened, my component doesn't respond. My header just overlaps with my paragraph. I want it so that the paragraph is pushed down once I add another line to my header. So we're gonna do that with the power of auto layout. So we're gonna first select both elements and you can do that by dragging on the canvas and selecting both elements. Or you can hold shift down and select both elements. And then you're gonna wanna put them both inside of a frame. And to do that, you're gonna hit option command G. Now you have both text elements inside a frame over here. We're gonna rename our frame to description. And then I'm gonna apply auto layout to my frame. So I'm gonna to go to the right hand panel over here, click plus next to auto layout and see how automatically detected that eight there. That's saying any child element of the description frame is going to have eight pixels between them vertically. So we got eight over here. If I were to change and add another line, we still got eight. If I were to add another paragraph, it's also gonna have eight pixel spacing. You can also change the orientation of your auto layout. So you can click the frame and choose vert horizontal, sorry. And that's gonna give you eight pixels padding between them horizontally, but we are going to use vertical. And that is how you can create a responsive description. So let's step it up a notch. What if you wanted to add a button to this component? What if you wanted to add a button underneath the description frame so that there's 32 spacing between the description and the button? But remember, we wanna maintain this eight pixel spacing between our title and header. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna first start by creating a button. And I'm gonna do that first by adding a text element to my frame. So again, I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard. 
say learn more. I'm gonna give this button auto width. Uh, I'm gonna start the same as my paragraph because they're gonna have the same size. So copy and paste properties just to save me some time. And I'm gonna put this text element inside of the frame and that's gonna become our button. So again, option command G. I'm gonna go over here to this frame and rename that to button. And I'm gonna go to the right hand panel and apply auto layout. Now this time I want you to pay attention to the two other properties in auto layout. We got horizontal padding and we got vertical padding. So I'm gonna set my horizontal padding to 32 and that's the spacing here between 32, 32. And I'm gonna set my vertical padding to 24. I'm gonna give this frame a fill. I'm gonna give it a nice blue prominent CTA. And you always wanna make sure that when you're selecting these vibrant colors, that they're also accessible. There's a lot of plugins and websites where you can go and check for accessibility and I will post the ones I use to the description of this video. I'm gonna give my button here eight border radius, a little smoother. And then I'm gonna move it to the spacing that I want. So we said 32, okay, that's 32, great. So now we have our description frame, which contains both our text elements, the header and paragraph, and we have the button. But right now it's not responsive. So if I add another line to my paragraph, my button isn't pushed down. So we're gonna wanna add the description frame and button inside of the frame. So again, we're gonna select both elements, hit Option Command G to put them inside of a frame. I'm gonna rename my frame to card component. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply auto layout to this frame. And see it automatically detected the 32. So now if I were to change the paragraph to add another line. Ooh, I can't spell apparently. My component responded. I have 32 between my my description and, and button, and I have eight between my title and paragraph. So if I were to duplicate, again, eight between the elements in my description frame and 32 between the button and the description. And that is how you can create a responsive card in Figma. Now you can use auto layout to control the spacing between lower level components like buttons, descriptions, and cards. But you can also use auto layout to control the spacing between higher level components like maybe a slider or a newsstand component. Check out the next video on auto layout to learn how you can build a more complicated component using auto layout.